Now, your Super Doppler 10 forecast with meteorologist Ricky Matthews. A live look from the Lynn Haven Inlet this morning, Virginia Beach. One of the spots we do expect to see some tidal flooding later on today as that tide comes in around lunchtime today. So keep that in mind as you're out and about, maybe going to grab lunch today or just, you know, doing whatever you're doing around lunch. You may encounter some of those flooded roads as that water does rise with the tides. What has changed since yesterday? Well, a couple things. First off, the weekend, Saturday's looking a little better. Saturday looks kind of dry, warmer. The tide forecast has also increased for this morning's tide or later uh, on this morning's tide to 5.8 feet. That's something that's going to cause some problems later on. Here is the latest. We've got the uh, hurricane down here. We've got the warm front stretching off of it and all the rain stretching north into our area. You can see some of these rain bands now stretching across parts of the south side, moving into the eastern shore, the peninsula as well. A lot of this is still kind of lighter rain, but down to the south, a lot more heavy rain, especially down towards Hatteras. All of this moving north, so eventually overspreading eastern North Carolina, lifting north into northeast North Carolina, and then from there into Hampton Roads later on this morning and into the afternoon. Also note some of these very bright colors down here. Lots and lots of heavy rain off the coast towards the Gulf Stream. The center of the storm still south of Charleston, kind of the east here of Savannah. You can see this counterclockwise wind swirl around it. And this doesn't look like a classic tropical storm or a hurricane because it's interacting with that warm front. So don't expect to see a lot of rain here in the eastern side of this. You expect to see the rain in the north side and the west side as it continues to pull up to the north. The track does take it towards Charleston this afternoon, kind of between Charleston and Myrtle Beach. For us, though, that rain on the north side will make it into our area and is already doing so. You can see that through the afternoon on future track. Winds increase today, rain increases later this morning, and it's with us through much of the day. Pretty rare we put a 100% chance of rain on the uh, forecast, but that's what we've got today across the area. Around lunchtime, some bands of heavy rain northeast North Carolina. Look at how those spread into our area right at 1, 2 o'clock when the tides are up. So that could cause some issues with some just uh, rainfall flooding because a lot of the rainwater won't be able to run off through the storm drains as those tides are elevated. Uh, heading into this evening and into the early overnight, that's when we got to watch the radar closely because some of these brighter colors here, note these bands moving through, they could produce the potential for some quick spin up tornadoes as the moisture does push through the area. Our area in a level two severe weather risk today, uh, that's for that risk for isolated tornadoes. Most of the time, these tropical tornadoes, they're rain wrapped, they're hard to spot, they spin up quickly. So you want to make sure you have a way this afternoon and this evening to get those weather alerts sent to your phone. Expected rainfall totals anywhere between around two inches to the west, four inches closer to the coast, and into parts of northeast North Carolina, we could see close to five inches when all is said and done. And then we get a little bit more rain Sunday and into Monday, adding up to around five to six inches heading into the first part of next week uh, in terms of the multiple day accumulations. So hey, that drought, we're kicking uh, some of that out of here with the impacts from Ian. So a little good news there. I uh, don't need any flooding or anything like that, but certainly uh, some good news. We finally are getting some of that much needed rain. In terms of the tides, here's the forecast for later on this morning and into the afternoon. 5.8 feet at Sewell's Point. That's in the moderate flood category. That will cause some issues with some flooded roads, even put some water around homes in some areas, especially Hampton, parts of Grandview. Expect around one to two feet of water along some parks along the shore. So uh, in those areas that always flood, like Grandview, do expect that water to come up. Dandy Point Road, increased levels on the back river here, and also parts of Beach Road and near the salt ponds. Expect some water too. Here's what we expect for wind gusts this afternoon. A gust of 45 or 50 is quite possible later on today, and uh, those gusts will be capable of blowing around some loose, unsecured items. My trash can already decided to blow over this morning. So did my recycling bin. And I just said there's not much in it, so we're just going to leave it that way. Bye-bye. <laughs> and uh, we'll see where it is later on.